I have a copy here of your uh, most recent book, uh, From Extraterrestrials to Animal Minds, Six Myths of uh, Evolution. Um, it's uh, recently come out. And, uh, you know, this book uh, picks up on some of the, the themes that uh, you saw in some of your earlier books. Before we jump into the book, I just want to, you know, it says six myths of evolution. I just want to uh, clarify, we're not talking about evolution as being a myth. It's, it, it's clear that over the past four billion years on this planet, there's been an evolutionary process that's, that, that has played out. Um, but maybe you could just start by what, what was the purpose uh, of, of writing this book and, and those myths? What, do you, what, 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 are, what were your goals here with this? My interest is really that, by and large, in science, um, one's always interested in the unsolved problems rather than the things that you teach the undergraduates, which is fine because they will replace us pretty quickly. And as I often say in some of my lectures, um, if you think you're a cosmologist or, or an astronomer, then in the last 20 years, as you'll know, they've lost about 80 percent of the visible universe. And that's pretty good going. Well done. No dark matter, no dark energy. What on earth is going on? Uh, so there's something there to talk about. Whereas it seems to me that evolution has rather entered a closed space where lots of good work is being done by very clever and intelligent people. But somehow the bigger questions, if they actually exist, um, have been slightly to one side. And I think there are probably a number of reasons for this. One of them, actually, ironically, is technology. Everybody is drowning in data. You know, there's superb machines which do almost everything you'd like. But, of course, there's a limit to the ability to assimilate all this and actually sort the wheat from the chaff and the rest of it. So this attempt at, at what I call myths, which, by the way, I, it, again, is not a dispute about the reality of evolution. It's certainly not talking about fairy tales, though we can talk about those if you like. <laughs> it's areas of received wisdom, which, in my opinion, are long overdue for re-examination. 